Good morning traders and welcome to today's live trading. Today is the 31st of January. We are on the FTSE 100 and I'm going to run you through my morning analysis as usual. Um, just to clear up, I think that the timing issue on the charting platform is now sorted. Um, fingers crossed. It's definitely looking okay for today. I've triple checked it. Um, but the bands that I've got marked in for today so far are, we've got one up at 6970, uh, this one below at around sort of the 6945 level. You can see this has got the 5 minute 200 in uh, that's been untested so far. I've uh, got one below down at sort of the 6900 level, and I think I have marked one in above around the 7000 level. So, sort of a 100 point spread there, and we've got four bands in between, um, in between those 100 points. As far as immediate trade setups go, what I would like to see, I think, is from the open, if price comes down, uh, tests the lower end of this band, maybe test the 200, um, gives us a buy signal, I would look to take that possibly up to sort of the high, um, maybe not quite that far, depending on what the uh, risk on the trade is. Um, but that is one I'm sort of semi keen for. Um, and if not, you know, if, if we come straight up or come blasting down below this band, then I will just revert to the bread and butter, uh, looking at how price reacts within the bands when it gets there, and just um, going from there. But uh, yeah, I think that's that's all I'm looking at, really. Um, I think other than that, um, there's not much that I can see, especially looking at the higher time frames. We've had a good bullish run yesterday. So um, it would be nice to be on the long side unless we see some uh, good reversal signs. But uh, yeah, for now, that's the plan. A couple minutes to open. Um, so I'll see you soon. So uh, just going uh, 10 past nine now, uh, just to run you through what's happened since the open. Um, this candle here, this large green one here that moves through the band is the open candle. And you can sort of see why I wanted to get long uh, this morning. But obviously the only place I could get long was from the band below and it never came down and tested that area. So um, it just blasted off through this band and moved up to the next one. Sadly didn't give us any sort of reversal signal up here um, and has sold away so far. Um, if I show you on the four hour chart, you can see it's up at this level where we've tested two times uh, somewhat recently um, and failed both times. So it was definitely a good area to look for a potential short. Um, who knows, there may still be an opportunity to get short from up there. Um, we'll have to see how price moves. Uh, obviously as it stands, I can't do anything. We're sort of in the no man's land between the two bands that I've placed there. but. Uh, it's sort of a continuation of yesterday's price action really, very bullish movement um, that we saw yesterday and we've started it in the same vein, obviously not as bullish. Um, and so just taking that into consideration, as I've said I think on previous videos, when you're taking um, a short trade in bullish in a bullish environment really, you just need to be very realistic with, uh, you know, first of all your entry and secondly your exit. Um, and what I mean by that is, if you leave it too late to try and get into the market, i.e. looking for maybe too much confirmation that price is going to sell off a little, then you're going to miss out on some of the actual down move. And in in an environment like this, there might not be too much of a down move there. So I always find it best in this sort of environment, if I am going to get short, I identify a level where I think um, you know, it's particularly strong and we're likely to see a good bounce from there. And then second of all, I like to try and to get into that move early on. Um, so I, I look for less confirmation than um, I might in other situations. And then uh, the third point is I'm very realistic with the target. So I don't, you know, I'm not looking for a huge reversal uh, because it's unlikely to happen uh, when price is moving so bullish, uh, as in this case. So um, just taking those things into account when you're, sort of looking at a trade like this, um, you know, in these sort of environments, it's uh, it's good to remember those things. But as it stands, we don't need to implement any of those things because we don't have a signal yet. 
So uh, yeah, I will keep watching and um, hopefully we'll get one soon. Right, we're just coming up to 25 to 11. I'm actually going to put a buy order above this candle. The high is 70, so I want to be in at 71.2. Submit, that order's in. Uh, I can bring the ticket across for you, just to show you that the order is in. There we go. Uh, so, 71.2. It's a long order. Let's double check that that's correct. The high is 70, yeah, so 71.2. So basically, um, I'll just move that out of the way for now. You can see we've had that move down, um, and what we've done is we've come back and retested this this level here and this level here. Uh, we haven't been able to close down at this level, and we haven't been able to close past this level either. We've got this sort of strong uh, bullish pin bar. Um, that married with the momentum really and like the bullish environment I was talking about this morning um, for me within the band that it's not yet broken that makes a good long opportunity add on to that if we go over to the hourly chart let me just quickly delete these blue lines so they're not in the way you can see that this is the first test of the ATMA since we broke above it this has come back it's the first test now it has poked through which isn't ideal um, but it is still that first test and then on the four hour chart we're actually nowhere near the ATMA um, so we're still you know very bullish on this chart as well so the danger is that looking at that four hour chart again that we are a little bit maybe overbought and price might want to consolidate slash retrace slightly let this ATMA catch up um, and then if it is going to break above or move any higher and then do it um, you know that that is obviously one consideration but I just feel like the pros outweigh the cons on this particular setup um, and actually I think would be good for another move back up towards at least this kind of level sort of the 86 area if not the band again um, so we'll see but uh, yeah the orders in I don't think it's yep it has been triggered actually so I'll bring the ticket across for you and uh, leave the trade running and we shall see how it does. Okay, so we're coming up to quarter past 12 now. Um, just a little recap really on the trade. Uh, we got into it on this candle here, this big green one, uh, the big green pin. And it moved up pretty nicely really quickly actually. I think we got up to about eight points up and then it had a big long think about it, came back down to sort of the entry point, and then I think we've got up to about eleven, twelve points um in profit is the most we've done, I think, uh, at these two points here before this big well, quick retracement back down to sort of the entry level. And we're just sort of hanging around break even at the minute. Um so obviously the band is still providing support for price at the, at the moment um, this is its like third or fourth visit within the last couple of hours so um, it'd be interesting to see whether it does hold up here my guess would be that it probably isn't going to do it this time um, you know when you're testing this many times you do start to get to the point where you're expecting it to break um, I was hoping on this second attempt here we were going to push past this high get up into sort of the high 80s where I would take profit but um, that's just not happened never mind and the reason I didn't take profit here up at so it says 14 points there but I think we were on about 12 because of the spread um, it's just purely because the stop on this trade is, is 13 points so coming out for 12 it isn't really good enough whereas if we could get up to sort of 87 88 we'd be looking at 16 points 16 17 points uh, which is much better um, but obviously we just didn't get there um, but I'm going to run out for a bit now, pop out for a bit, um, probably not much more than an hour if that, um, and I'm just going to let this trade run while I do that. I've got a bit fed up of watching it, uh, waiting for something to happen. So uh, while we're down back at this um, entry level area where the band is, um, I'm just going to leave it to do whatever it wants to do. So this stops in as usual, it's two points below the low of the candle. Um, I will set a take profit um, around 86, 87, and we'll just see what happens. I'll leave the video to record, 
and uh, we'll see where we are when I get back. Right, apologies for the delayed um, update. We've just gone, we're just coming up to five past four. As you can see, that uh, position has been stopped now. The stop loss was a few points below this swing here, and so was obviously caught. The uh, take profit was actually up at 87. So we were looking up towards there, and we got close a few times actually. Uh, like we went over initially, we had two runs up at it. We came all the way back down to the band. It looked like it was going to come up and tag it at this point. Again rolled over and then has obviously eventually come down and taken the stop uh, from the trade. So, um, yeah, an unlucky one really. I think I said when I got into the trade, the danger was always that it would want to come and test this 4 hour 8 EMA before going any higher. And you can see that is what's happened now. We've had this test of the ATMA. Um, you know, basically that's just the eight period uh, moving average for uh, price on this particular chart. And what you'll notice if you if you use a moving average around you know eight, ten, eleven, um, is that price doesn't tend to get too far away from it. Uh, so when we were up at this band here, and the ATMA was like 50 points below it, then there's always that risk that before making another move up, um, it's gonna want that EMA to catch up with it. Um, which is basically what's happened here. We've come down and we're just sort of hanging around at this level uh, whilst the uh, moving average catches up. So um, what we might see going in tomorrow, excuse me, into tomorrow is um, another leg up of that bullish momentum that we've seen over the last couple of days um, now that those moving averages are, are starting to catch up with price uh, on the higher time frames so um, yeah no I mean it wasn't a bad trade the setup was good um, I think on another day we would have got you know the extra three four points that we were looking for to close out the trade um, I was happy to hold on even on the third attempt just because of you know the background bullish momentum the bullish environment that we're in over the last couple of days just made me hold it that bit longer but on this occasion unfortunately it has rolled over but it's just one of those trades that will go down as not working um, you know there was nothing that I did fundamentally wrong if I look back at this trade and think okay so how can I improve from this well there wasn't really anything to take away from it. It was just a good setup that unfortunately didn't work out. It was managed well, no panic, um, no silly decisions within the trade. Uh, it came out at the correct place. So yeah, it was um, a, a good trade in the end, but just not a profitable one. So uh, I hope there's something to take away from that. I hope you still enjoy the video. Um, if you do, please do feel free to leave a like on it. And if you haven't done already, please consider subscribing. And uh, I'll see you next week.